them up. Man, I ain't got 750 to pay. Daybreakers. Man, that sounds like a country breakfast you get at Denny's done there. Two country fresh eggs. <laughs> and they're cracking on the edge of the, of the plate. It's a movie that could take place as the sequel to I Am Legend. Vampires have taken over the world, and they're, for the most part, they're civilized. I mean, they've formed a nice society. I mean, in fact, they even have like a, a their, their blood version of Starbucks. You know, you can go get like a, a plasma frappuccino latte. And all, yeah, you know? you're not the monsters anymore. They live in the condos and apartments. They go to their jobs every night. You know, yeah, they yeah. still can't go out during the day. And then some of them are homeless on the street. They're just standing by the highway interchanges going like, you know, need money for blood. Why lie? I just want some blood liquor. Now, instead of just going out and attacking humans, they've learned to like just farm them. There's a corporation that stores them, uh, bleeds them of their blood. And sells that blood, distributes it to various companies, probably watered down to one extent or another because everything is coming to an end. They are yeah. almost out of humans. I guess they can't feed on each other. But they turn into these creatures they, they they mindless monsters i mean they're animals if and this is what they mutate into if they don't have enough blood to keep them alive people just starting to become just kind of like crackheads or something so in comes ethan hawk's character he's the one that's fighting to uh save humans we can live in harmony with human he's beings. trying to develop synthetic blood something that you know this corporation fully supports and the, you know i mean it's just not working so all of a sudden everything's building to chaos you've got these rabid vampires running around enter the few surviving humans led by of all people willem dafoe yes who that <laughs> that fool looks like a vampire you he, know i'm sorry he he looked the same way when he was 20 though he looked exactly the same and he was like uh, three years old with that face <laughs> <laughs> he must have got bit by a vampire when he was 55 and just stayed that way you know he's like I, i'm supposed to look like Tom Cruise, right? And like, nah, man, don't work that way. If you get bit at 80, you stay 80, all right? Yeah, you don't, it doesn't go retro. Immortality is the miracle. We are blessed. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, you know, let's team up and see what we can do to overthrow this, 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 the evil corporation is pretty much spearheading all this, yeah. which is led by, of all people, Sam Neill. Yeah, playing the same role he always does, pretty much. But, you know, that's fine. He's good at that one role. This is more of a science fiction film than it is a horror movie yeah because nah, it's yeah. it's it's setting up a new a different very different world i mean it's a it's not just there are vampires it's a world run by vampires and what would that be like and in, in that sense it really does feel more like you're setting up a science fiction reality one of the things that uh that i, I mentioned before and you guys are like man what are you talking about this is a movie where you know you it's not it's not a huge budget no. so they say the world is dominated by vampires and they're, they're talking about this big city that they're living in. We only see about three blocks. Well, <laughs> and, and it's only like this. And we don't get a sense that this is the world over. I think I would I would have liked to have seen like uh, at least a TV channel where you got Le Blaire. <laughs> it does have its elements of horror in there because it gets very gory, very violent. And the, the thing I like about the movie is that regardless of all that, it's a it's a really well written script. I mean, it's, it is very smart. Uh, Ethan Hawke, who yeah. we said is always a good actor. He is always good, but he shines here because they gave him a good part. Some birthday party, bro. Yeah, uh, 10, 35, 10 times. Birthdays are pointless. Let's have a drink. It smells human. 100% pure. That's one of the perks of serving your country. Uh, I can't. I don't touch human blood. You don't touch human blood. You work for a company that uses humans like cattle. Don't tell me how to live my life. Your company working on some type of fake blood. That's one thing. But we all know that their money comes from farming. I want to pick up exactly where we left off. As much as we say the bad guys are just kind of types in this, this movie, there's a, there's a scene in here where the creatures in this, you feel really sorry for them too. I won't say what it is, but you like, I wouldn't have treated a dog that way. So it's movie has a lot of dimension to it too. So man, I, yeah, what can I say? The movie's a lot of fun. Go check it out. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it full price. Yeah, I agree with you. But it was also brought by the Spirit Brothers, uh, who are great guys. Yeah, Peter have, and Michael Spirit. Who have a really unique vision. They did I, the movie, the, the uh, zombie movie, Undead, speaking yeah, of zombies and vampires. A very low budget film this is their second film this is one of these films that manages to take a fun genre thing but apply so much human stuff on top of it that it becomes more than just another genre film it's absolutely a full price film that would suck man if you got like turned to a vampire like at 80 can't you imagine trying to stalk 
some prey. I mean, you're standing looking at some old guy just coming at you like, I'm going to get you. He's going to walk here. This guy chasing you break his hip like 13 times yeah. on the way. I'm, I'm coming. Just stay there. Son will be up by the time his ass gets to you. Son, come on. Ah!